everyone, welcome to this video. <laughs> you have the hiccups? I've got Max here and Gus. And today we're gonna do an unboxing of our butcher box. So this video is about how to, yeah, we just got this box today. This video is about how to procure, how to find high quality meat at a reasonable price in these turbulent times with inflation and gas prices going up insanely. It's just insane. Uh, I want to share with you guys what we do to get high quality meat in our home. And one of those ways is to buy from Butcher Box. So let's get this very heavy box over to the kitchen. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I do all sorts of videos on all things homesteading. We are a military family, so homesteading looks a little bit different for us because we move every two to three years. But it's still possible to homestead even if you're moving like that. So I want to give you guys tips and encouragement and bring you guys along on our journey as we do our homesteading thing. So, all right, so let's get this, this box. I have to push it um, to the kitchen and we will unbox it. Okay, let's push. Can you help? Push. That's pulling. Come, come over here, Max. Push. Like you're pushing a car. Whatever. <laughs> it's really heavy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Here, let's get it off the carpet. <laughs> push, push. I would do it. You can do it! Yay! <laughs> oh, boy, yeah. Okay, so when you get Butcher Box, so actually, let's back up. You might be wondering, well, what is Butcher Box? Butcher Box is basically like a mail order meat service. So they have all sorts of wonderful cuts, chicken, pork, beef, even fish, and also cooked meats. And you can get all sorts of different meats, cuts of meats from them. They have different member sales, uh, also membership. There's no fee for a membership. You can delay your box. It's a monthly shipment, but <laughs> I've actually delayed getting my box shipped for months now, but I finally decided to place my order. It is very flexible, so if you see like, oh, it's like a monthly box, don't be freaked out by that because you don't have to order every single one. So when you receive your box, um, it'll say, warning, this box may contain dry ice. So of course, don't handle that with your bare skin. So everything comes frozen. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever ordered fish from them. But this is a wild caught Alaska cod, sustainably harvested, harvested in the pristine waters of the Gulf of Alaska and the Bering Sea. So I really try my best to get wild caught or sustainably raised fish. Really want to avoid farm raised fish. And so this sounds amazing. So I got two whole chickens and let's see, this one is 4.6 pounds. And this one is 5.11 pounds. How Butcher Box works, there's different ways that you can do it. You can either say, I want a box. You can do different combos. You could do all beef. You could do beef and pork. You could be, do beef, chicken, and pork. And you say, you guys, you Butcher Box, you select the cuts for me. So you don't have a say in what cuts come. It's just a range of poundage that they include in your box. And that's the cheapest option is to have Butcher Box choose the cuts for you. But if you want a more customized experience, then you can pay a little bit more. I think it's $20 more per box. And you can pick your own cuts and you get a certain amount of cuts. And I tried to get the biggest bang for my buck and ordered the heaviest, like the largest cuts. I think you can get six cuts. If that's incorrect, I'll put it on the screen. But you can pick six things in your customizable box. So one of them for me was a side of cod and then two whole chickens. So that's three things. Uh, so I got pork. So this box, um, I only selected chicken, pork, and fish because we already have our freezer full of our quarter of a cow that we bought from a local farm. Uh, so I didn't need to buy beef. So this is a cut of pork. This is a pork butt. Uh, or a half 
pork butt bone in. So this will be excellent in the slow cooker. No, yum, yum. I love no. cooking these kinds of cuts because they're super yeah. easy and delicious. No, no. And this one is 6.16 pounds. So actually, I think this was um, my, my. a little bit more than it told me on the screen. So I'm getting an even better deal now since it's bigger than I thought it would be. Then my next cut, so that's four cuts. Uh, this is a half uh, boneless pork butt. So it's the same kind of cut except without the bone. And this is 4.05 pounds. So basically four pounds. So of course the, the cut that has the bone will be a little heavier. Oh, I got a pork, half of a pork boneless center cut loin roast. So this is pork loin basically. And it's 3.67 pounds. So that's, I should be holding these up closer to the camera. So that's the, that's the cut loin roast. And this is the boneless pork butt. And this is the bone in pork butt. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then when, when I, okay, climb up here. When I signed up for ButcherBox, which was back in 2020, at the beginning of the pandemic, and we kind of, I don't know if meat was starting to become an issue, like finding meat in stores, but Mark kind of saw where things were going, like he could kind of see the trends of what was happening with the pandemic. And so we decided to sign up for ButcherBox so that we would have a reliable stream of meat coming in and we wouldn't have to rely on the stock at the grocery store Costco. I'm really glad that we signed up because yes, we never had to worry about like, oh no, I can't find grass fed beef at the store, which was an issue sometimes. So that was like, early mid 2020. So I've been a butcher box member for almost two years now because we're <laughs> coming up on the two year anniversary of the pandemic. And so when I signed up, they had a special deal going for new members and that was ground beef for life. And sometimes they yes. run this offer, they run this offer Ow. periodically. So with every box, I get two pounds of grass fed, grass finished Come ground on. beef. All of their beef Come is grass fed, finger. grass finished, which is amazing. So that is it. Let me just add up Come all of the pound, like how Come the total poundage that I got. And then I will tell you Come the total poundage on. and then how much I paid. All right, so I got about 27 and a half pounds of meat, of really high quality meat, well, meat and fish. So the fish, this is two pounds of cod. So basically 25 and a half pounds of meat and then two pounds of fish. And let me look up on my receipt and see what my price was. I have some more information for you guys. So my box actually was a little bit of a deal, so, but I'll, I'll tell you all the prices. So the base price for a cust, they call it the custom classic box, and where you can pick six different cuts. And the total for that is $159. Plus I have the two pounds free of ground beef every box. Shipping is free, so that's a good thing. Then I got $30 off because I had a credit from when my mom signed up. So I am not an affiliate currently um, as of this filming uh, for ButcherBox, but I do have a referral link. So that means that if you use my referral link, then you get something special, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And then I get a $30 Ooh. credit to use for my next box. Um, so I used the $30 credit from when my mom signed up. And so that brought it down to $129. Now, if you live any place other than Kansas, you won't be taxed. So uh, in California, we weren't taxed on food. And so it would have, if I was ordering this in California, it would have been just $129. But here in Kansas, they actually tax food. And so my tax was $14.24. So my total paid was $143.24 for 27 and a half pounds. So that works out to be $5.20 a pound. You guys, that is an amazing deal. That's so good for this quality. I mean, organic whole chickens, pork that is 
humanely raised, grass-fed beef, wild-caught fish. I mean, that is a really good deal. But let's see, let's see. What if I didn't have, let's say I didn't have to pay Kansas tax and I was just ordering the box without a credit. How much would that be per pound? Let's see, 159 divided by 27.5 pounds. That's still, you guys, $5.78 a pound. Now, of course, like I said, you have to be strategic. It might be more per pound, depending on if you order things that more of their like convenience foods, like the cooked meat or smaller cuts or whatnot. Uh, but if you get things like pork butt that is variable, you know, it can be anywhere from three and a half to four pounds up. And you know, they, they have a cut that's six pounds, that's what you get. So it kind of evens out in the end, I think. But you guys, even under $6 a pound for this quality of meat is a steal. This is amazing. So if you want to take advantage of my referral link, First of all, if you do, thank you so much because your purchase helps support Black Rifle Homestead and our family. What will you get if you use my referral link? Right now, they are doing ground beef for life. So you will get the same thing that I have, two pounds of free ground beef, grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef, every single box, and $30 off your first box. So you can get exactly what I got, um, with regards to that $30 off and the free ground beef if you use my referral link below. So again, thank you so, so much. I don't take any of this for granted when people use affiliate links or referral links of ours. Just, no! I, tr no! I truly, truly appreciate it because like I said, every, every little bit helps. You know, when you have two little ones, um, he loves to eat. We all love to eat. If you would like to try ButcherBox, I encourage you. What are some other ways besides ButcherBox that you can save on meat, on high quality meat for your family in these times? Like I have said, we have a quarter of a cow in our freezer. Well, it's not, we're, we've been eating over on it for the past couple, few months. So that is another way though that you can save is going to a local farmer, making sure you find a quality farmer that raises their animals really well and you can buy uh, meat in bulk. You can do beef, you could do pork, you could do chicken. Um, that is another way to save. So you pay up front for all this meat, you have it in your freezer and you it's like a protection against inflation because no. the beef that we bought back in December that amount of beef would be more expensive now probably. That's another way. Another way is to keep an eye on sales at your grocery store or your membership warehouse like Costco or BJ's to keep an eye out because I know like Costco, they do carry grass fed beef. Now I don't know if it's grass finished um, and it's probably not local either, but that is another way to save is to watch their sales on their grass fed beef or organic chicken and to when it goes on sale to stock up and have a deep freezer that you can freeze a bunch of meat in so if buying a quarter or half a cow isn't quite in your budget yet but you could buy extra meat when you see it go on sale that is another way that you could save on meat so those are some ideas on how to get some high quality meat in your freezer regardless i do recommend buying in bulk because things are just going to go up and if you have the money now to, sh to fork out extra groceries, it will save you in the long run because of what inflation is doing and gas prices, which gas prices are going to affect food prices, unfortunately. So if you guys have any questions about ButcherBox or have issues with my link or whatever, just let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, I hope this was helpful and fun to see what we got. And if you end up using ButcherBox, again, thank you so much. And let me know. Let me know what your favorite cut is from your box. And in the meantime, you guys take care. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. You say bye, Max? Bye.